Hey, what is up? Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma, and if you're not new here, my name is still Emma. I'm here to show you guys a week of lockdown meals. So, as you guys are probably aware, it's kind of, you kind of can't miss it. New Zealand is currently under a level four lockdown. I live in Hamilton, but I've come home to Auckland to spend lockdown with my family. And so, since I'm home, it's uni break, I said to mum, I will do the cooking this week. So, <laughs> that's what's happening this week, and that's what this video is going to be about. It is Monday night, and tonight I'm cooking prawn pad thai. I'll show you guys the recipe. It's a really good recipe. It is quite expensive the first time you cook it, but after you cook it the first time, you have all of like the sauces and stuff and you can just make it again at a very low cost. I flat and I've done that with our very very tight food budget at our flat. So yeah basically once you've got all of the ingredients all you really have to buy going forward to make it again is the prawns. Here is the recipe so hold it here for a sec if you want to pause it or change it to 1080p and take a screenshot. It is out of the magazine. I could not tell you what magazine it is because it has been ripped out but it says food down the bottom so I'm yeah, guessing, guessing it's the food magazine. So that's what we're making as you can see it's got quite an extensive ingredient list. I have all the ingredients laid out and I've got the prawns currently defrosting, which they should be done by now. They've been defrosting for like half an hour in some cold water. Also, before we get started, I should say I'm obviously not a chef with zero qualifications and a $35 food budget as a student. So take this advice with a grain of salt and let's get into it. So here we have a couple packets of rice noodles. So I'm just going to chuck some hot water on them to make them do what they need to do. Here we go, mixing it all in together. You kind of just put it all in together and then mix it all up and then it's good to go. I've got mum help me with the wok though because it's kind of, it's it's hands, it's very full on to do it all with one person because you've got to like take things out and add things in and then, yeah, anyway, easier with two people, moral of the story. Taste test time. Got to the sink in case I drop it. Oh, yep. Mmm, that's good. Yum. Yeah. Hello guys, it is Tuesday, we're back in the kitchen and it is time to make some dinner. I'm making these superfood wrap bowls. I've made these before at the flat like a couple of times. It's like a wrap with filled up with quinoa and salad and halloumi and stuff. So I've, normally I would do it with chicken, but this time I think I might give halloumi a go. We have some halloumi here from HelloFresh that they didn't use, so I'm going to use that. Got the wraps. These are the trays that you use to make the bowls. Got some beetroot and some zucchinis which I'm going to spiralize and some baby spinach and obviously quinoa but I might go on a hunt and see if I can find some chicken to put in this as well. I have located some vegetarian chicken tenders for sage which I'll put on shortly but I don't want to do them yet because otherwise they'll be ready way before everything else. Well in the joke for the quinoa, managed to locate these for the rest of us and we'll do the halloumi as well. Okay I need to, it's supposed to have zucchini noodles and beetroot noodles, we couldn't find them and they're also very expensive and so we're going to make our own noodles and just use chunky beetroot but I need to figure out how to turn these into noodles using that quinoa is... oh yep that's boiling, okay we'll turn that down mum's here doing some chicken in the rice bowl for dad because he can't have onion <laughs> and garlic we've sorted out the zucchini, I'm going to fry that in some garlic oil because dad can have garlic oil but not garlic it's a different part of the garlic, anyway Hello guys, Wednesday, dinner time, mum's making some stuff. We're having fish and polenta chips with tomato ragu, is that how you say it, ragu? Yep. I made this at my flat on Tuesday night, so the night that lockdown was announced last week, and it was a crowd favourite, so I came home and I was like, mum, I need to make this for you guys. So that's what I'm doing, mum's just making some extra fish for dad because he can't have the normal fish that the rest of us are having. The recipes are all coming from like different cookbooks, so the polenta chips are coming from this cookbook here, which is Ellie Else's Wholesome Life. I obviously can't show the recipe because it's in like a paid cookbook, but if you search up like polenta chips online, I'm pretty sure it'll come up with something like fairly similar. The fish to be honest is this hokey out of the box that I bought from the full square this morning. The tomato ragu is out of Simone Anderson's So Delish cookbook which I actually bought last lockdown. But to be the chef that I am, 
Here's something I prepared earlier. There's the polenta chips, they have to sit in the fridge. I've cut the polenta up into the chips and normally you're supposed to put thyme on it but we only had Italian herbs. I'm waiting for the oven to preheat and then I'll chuck those in. The polenta chips are in the oven and the veggies are chopped up for the tomato ragu. These are the fish fillets that we got this morning. Like, we didn't really want to go to the supermarket, so we just went to the dairy and this is what they had, well, it's kind of all they had and it was the cheapest one, so love that. Since Dad and Matt are fussy, we don't think they're gonna like polenta chips, and so we had some normal chips for them to go in the air fryer. Hello guys, it is Thursday and I'm here to cook another dinner for you guys. Well, not for you guys, it's for my family, but I mean, you're gonna see me make it. It's a one pot meatballs and gnocchi meal from VJ Cooks. Her recipes, she's like a blogger, she's based in Topol and she's like a mum and she just makes food. And then she has the recipes with everyone. Would highly recommend checking out her page. See, the thing is, it's called one pot. We're gonna be using multiple pots because we're catering to someone who kind of onion and garlic, a vegetarian, and then everyone else. So it's gonna be three pot meatballs and gnocchi, but that's fine. <laughs> the recipe's super easy. This is my third time making it, so I'll link the recipe down below. Let's get cooking. I need to make some meatballs from scratch because the ones that come from the shop have onion and garlic in them. I won't show the raw meat because I don't wanna get people upset. <laughs> making progress with dinner you can probably hear like a really high pitched screeching noise in the background that is the induction cooktop which is really annoying but that's fine this is the meat one so you can see the meatballs and it's got tomato like crushed and sieved tomato and then the gnocchi in there and then this is, this is the vegetarian one it's kind of hmm they've got garlic bread in the oven too finished product we have the meat one here with the grated mozzarella on the top which is slowly melting. It's meant to have basil on top as well but we don't have any so that's that. This is Sage's one, it's still kind of not looking as nice as our one but I'm sure it'll taste great. And then over here we have some fresh garlic bread ready to go. Does it look good? Yum. 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 Right, time to eat. We made it to Friday but we've got a lot of noises going on in the background. We're having sushi tonight, and I was live on Instagram, so mum started cooking dinner, so I cannot take credit for tonight's dinner. Well, I hope you can, because you can take over now. Oh, really? We've got some prawn cutlets shallow frying over here. We've got a big, mighty slab of chicken happening over there. We've got some rice, which is just finished cooking. We've got some avocado, we've got some lettuce, we've got some carrot, we've got some capsicum. We've got cucumber. Oh yeah, I forgot that. Yeah, it's here. We're gonna get some cucumber. We've got some salmon all the way from Mount Cook. How good. Well, actually, no, it's all the way from New World, but that's fine. Yeah, I got a nice orderly drawer here that someone organized. Well, yeah, I organized it, but it's kind of like weird, weird that, that that doesn't, that's not where I put that. That, that belongs there. Now, I'm gonna show you guys a little life hack for making sushi at home. We've been using this little machine for mm -hmm. 10 years, maybe longer. It's called a sushi easy, so it looks like this. It's got some moving parts. We have the cap on the end, we have, I'm just making up these names by the way, the barrel where the sushi goes and then this which you use to eject it from the barrel. It's super easy to use, I'll show you guys in the time lapse how it works. I wanted one of these for our flat and so we found, this one's about $50 from Stevens. We found this, a similar thing at Stevens, which is $30. Same thing, just an off brand. Trust me, it's worth spending the extra money because the other one is not as good. Don't be screwed like me. Spend the extra money and get the thing that does the job properly. If you can roll sushi without one of these, that works too, but I've actually never tried, so. <laughs> there are also other alternatives that are a lot more affordable for rolling sushi, like a little, there's like a little case you can get from like Japan Mart and stuff, which also works, but I will demonstrate this for the purpose of the video.
this part, it's important to make sure that the shiny side goes down. How good does that look guys? So this is the one that was loaded up with salmon and then loaded up with every single vegetable under the sun. Looks so good. We ended up making five, so that's just the salmon avocado, that's veggie loaded, that's salmon loaded with veggies, and then that one's got the prawns in it. Just realized that I didn't close off this vlog for you guys, but thank you for watching. Hopefully that was a little bit entertaining. I don't know. Give you guys a bit of an insight as to what we eat in this house. But if you made this far in the video, comment your favorite food emoji. I'm very keen to see what you guys say. Obviously they don't have a whole heap to choose from, but it's, it's all good. My favorite is the cupcake emoji because that took so long to become a thing. Apart from that, stay safe, stay well, make some fun. I'll see you in my next video. I'm from Hamilton, but I've come home to, from. I'm from Hamilton. I. Yeah. I have a question. Hello, guys. We made it to Friday, and I need to take this exposure. Good audience. Written on the. Oh.